talking a lot. Well, I don't know if you if you guys noticed, but I've been talking a lot about my, how my fashion changed to Y2K. So Y2K stands for year 2000. And I wanted to do some type of twist on this video. All I was thinking, like, where do I get my inspiration for the Y2K fashion? There's this just this one girl. One girl. When I think of her, I just think of nostalgia. When she was younger. And it is Lindsay Lohan. Every one of her outfits hit back then. From the movies like Teen Girls, Blue, Teenage Drama Queen. All these things I watch on Disney+. Plus. That's all I've been watching for the past couple of months. Actually, the past year. I'm not gonna lie. Since Disney+, Plus came out, I've just been watching good movies. I'm 22, so, you know, if you're my age, or around my age the kind of movies they had back then so i've been watching those and i'm like what if i was part of movies what if i was you know so i'm like let me just create outfits based on what i have thrifted for the past couple of months and let me just make myself a character back in the days the early 2000s to like 2008 those type of movies so i'm gonna create my own character i have five outfits that's why some of these outfits may seem weird but i like it so i don't really care i thrifted all of these and if i didn't i will make sure to say that because i'm trying to be more sustainable and it's hard to be sustainable because if you want to wear something that you know pretend you have a big event or you have to look somewhere like nice class some thrift stores i know i know you can find it but most thrift stores don't have like that really nice you know what I mean? Nice, like, nice dress or whatever you need for that event. So for those, I'm gonna try, like, black businesses, black-owned businesses, and stuff like that to shop from them, which is pricey, but, I mean, still helping someone instead of just, like, buying from somewhere that's like non sustainable um i would say i'm like 60 percent sustainable right now because that 40 percent like i still shop at other places like amazon and stuff not just i'm talking about clothes not, nothing else but i still shop from those places i'm not gonna lie i'm just like trying to cut down a little bit and then eventually someday hopefully i'm like 100 percent sustainable hopefully but i don't know i don't know anyway let me describe the character she's like a, looks like me you know black curly hair it's like a background character she's not really the main character but she's not like in the click, you know, like the one of the click. She's just like the underdog and then at the end she tells like the girl who was the underdog, the main underdog, like I knew you could do it. You know that girl, okay? But not like not like that. So I'm gonna be that girl, but I'm gonna be like the fashionista girl that you see in the background of the camera just like walk. Oh, I get inspiration because that's where I get the inspiration from. So enjoy this, enjoy this lookbook. That girl was me. <laughs> So this first outfit I have gives a little tomboy vibes, but at the same time, a little feminine up there. I paired it with the baggy jeans and top because I felt like back then it was like low rise jeans with your top was like very tight. And this was the famous pose. That's why I did that. I paired it with my Air Force Ones and then I got these FUBU pants that I auctioned off of eBay. And then my belt is an Ed Hardy dupe belt. Not the real ones, because I could not find that. But these FUBU pants has like these this art, this like Harlem art at the bottom. I love it. That's why I got it. And then my top, I thrifted it from the thrift store. And it's this green kids racer car shirt. This fit just gives like a Monday vibe. So I'd wear this on a Monday. And then back then, let's be honest, the hairstyle is like very straight. But this character appreciates her curls. So I just left it out with like a side clip on it. Outfit number two, this gives me like very much, you know, back Y2K 2002, let me launch you back then. Most of the time, I'm gonna be honest, I wore Air Force because I, I feel like that's what you saw back then in a lot of movies and shows. So I got these low rise jeans that I thrifted from Goodwill. It has like these back to like Saint type thing, which really gave me Y2K vibes. That's why I got it. And I like this dark jean color, so I paired it with the green, light green turquoise halter top. And then my famous Dolce Gabbana dupe glasses. And then I paired it with these white handbag. And then I left my hair out to be messy because I feel like back then it was just, it wasn't really like together. So this outfit will be for a Tuesday. I'm just going by the day, but this gives me like a little more feminine look. The third outfit gives me a lot of very, very cute girly style. And these low rise jeans are actually my favorite, but I would wear it every day. But these, I paired it with the low rise jeans and then a New Balance pink shoes with a pink lip gloss. 
I couldn't find the one I got from beauty supply store because that really fits well but so I just wore you know Fenty but pretend Fenty was back then and then I accessorized it with my clear glasses I put my hair in a two space buns and I think this fit went together and this is obviously for a say it with me Wednesday on Wednesdays we wear pink Outfit number four, I look like the cool mom. I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. These juicy couture pants and the booty pockets did it justice. And I love these two colors, gray and green. I feel like they go together. I also paired it with my Air Force Ones. I put my hair in a clip and that really went together too with this outfit. I was gonna pair it with my handbag, but then I was like, nah, let me just make this like a chill day exercise. I don't know, at home loungewear. The top is Raka going to the grocery. It's obviously for a Thursday, and this just gives me very much lounge wear, comfortable. My last outfit. This probably has to be my favorite. I'll probably even wear it now. It kind of gives me like now vibes too. Ed Hardy all over. So my hat is Ed Hardy, my shirt is Ed Hardy, and they both match. And then the pants are just, um, I got it from Walmart like last year and it's a black cargo pants. And then the belt, I got it from a thrift store, but it has, it's green and it has like polka dots on it. And I obviously paired it with my Air Force Ones. This outfit is very cute. It gives much, very much Friday. Let's start this weekend. And I accessorized it with my watch and just a hat that's all i did and this just gives me like very much cute tomboy vibes i love this outfit and it just it's probably my favorite from all five of them but you know all five of them were my favorite ed hardy was really famous back then but ed hardy's also coming back now with also von dutch and all of those i'll be the cool girl you know on that friday this outfit gives me very much confident vibes love it Hope you guys enjoyed this video of this like creativity type of thing it just popped in my brain and i was like i should do something like this video if you have any other ideas of like outfits or theme outfits please comment down below i didn't give my name like this character a name i'll probably make it up by the time i'm writing the title i might have just said it in the voiceover cyber love out oh comment if you have any other ideas as i mentioned before please comment down below cyber love out